and I'm not starting in the dark this time. Weird. Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, and and uh, what is it, five in the morning? Okay, <laughs> they, they're up early, they've got things to do. I have been busy through the night working a couple of them, so that this episode would start with a, a new run of the, what just, I heard a noise, of the power poles cleaning this area up, getting the... Uh, uh, the lightning rods out here a little more evenly distributed and and just kind of cleaning up the the mess now that we're we're not uh, restricted to what was before Edmund getting something to eat what was he doing he was putting fuel in the balloon aha um tell you what while you are here I see a gas can there. Paulette is crafting fuel. Edmund, while you are down there, can you also refuel this since you're right next to the, the fuel? Okay. Um, I wanted to look for something. Where's a, where's a research bench? CPU assembly. Great. Research and... I have seen on other playthroughs a something called fuel mixing. And that allows you to make fuel out of something other than poo or bug meat. And I am not finding it. Did we already research that? We did not. I've heard that some playthroughs get random technologies and others don't. I assume that everything, you know, you would eventually find everything if you, if you researched it. But that's not the case. I don't seem to have the ability to make fuel out of anything that comes out of here and I really don't know how to create that ability so we may have a fuel problem on this uh, in this series I'm not sure who may be our only fuel unless <clears throat> you know, we're for the first time crafting fat so now that we have fat nothing popped up saying ah now you can research fuel so that wasn't it so fat is being placed on a shelf, and do we have vegetable oil? Not enough resources in stock. What do we need? We need grain. Oh, I'll bet you that's the one, huh? Hmm. I can't get any, even though it's sitting right down here, and I just can't get over the hump of 94%. So I guess we will just have to wait until you guys can move until spring, that first harvest, and then we'll explore that idea. You move up into here and that last one. Uh, there you are. Move you onto here and we are done with those. And can I get someone to do that? Umayar is taking a walk. Um, handling diesel generator. Okay, it's Edmund. Rita's taking a walk. Oh, we're in the 7 o'clock hour. <clears throat> okay. I hear a didgeridoo somewhere. Um, I wanted to get one more torch in here. Can I do that? Construct... Copy. Right there. Alright, that gets us light. If we could put the walls up. Can I put the walls up? If I say this and then click on Simon, it still doesn't build the walls. You click on a person, it'll show you, it'll take off the roof centered around the person you clicked on. I'm curious, does it move? No, I gotta click on him again. There, now we open up another section of roof. That's kind of an awkward way of doing it. But I wanted to, there actually is a wall right here. It doesn't look like it. There's a wall that shoots through this whole room here, but it's kind of odd that you can't uh, you can't tell. They give you that wall because there's something on it. Oh, we don't have anything like art, do we? We have furniture, and we have leisure. So we have a dartboard, which cannot fathom the idea of being over the top of something else. So that's not a thing. So I can't force a wall to show up unless I do something like that. We could throw darts over Umair's head or Edward when he's writing his short stories and get them inside. 
Yeah, we could do that. Actually, I don't need to do that one. Let's just move you in. Yeah. So move you to here. And you get to be inside now. Cool. Starting to collect our supplies. So down here... I've got more triggered to delete. Oh, I know what I wanted. Paulette's handling a trap. And when you're done, bring up one of these fuel barrels. So are you handling three traps? One, one, and one. I think it counts as three right there. So when you're done with those three, you can move... Oh, three. I don't want to do that. It's going to take too long. Simon, you got a faster run. You are transporting... I'm thinking that's leather... You are... Oh, yeah. Last episode, I set these for cloth chairs. I got to thinking, we actually have quite a bit of leather from all of the the Ulfen that died to give us that leather that the, uh, uh, the scissor hands butchered for us or slaughtered for us. So we got quite a bit of leather out of that, and I loaded it up into this guy. And where is that now? On this shelf? 56. What do you take? It's already 20 loaded in there, in there, in there, in there. Simon is done. Now you're transporting logs. Simon, I want you to bring up the three barrels. Alright, you do that. Construction negative 18. Oh, you hate construction. You disdain it. And hauling objects like this is considered construction. Mm hmm. What is that really doing to you? Is it, is it really going to kill you? <laughs> and he was annoyed by Carter again. Oh, he and Carter got this, this, this feud going on. Handling a furnace. Your handling is... Oh, because I told you I wanted you to do all the handling around the house as well as research. Hmm... How important is research, though? Got to think about that. I mean, yeah, you're, you're here all the time, so it makes sense that you're doing some of the miscellaneous stuff in between research, but I can see there being enough miscellaneous stuff to never let you research. That's probably a thing. All right, we're going to make you a three. You can get back to work here and deliver hauling items and materials to storage is and devices. Oh, materials to devices. Now, how is that different from fuel to devices? So, Simon, last episode, was bringing mushrooms to reload this shroom torch. And I thought that he was transporting. But I guess he was... What are the words again? Delivering. No, I thought he was handling. But he was delivering. Though it was called transporting. Yeah, they've got to work on standardizing their terms. That's If moving that is constructing, then it needs to be a constructing task. It's, 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 that's a little confusing when you're moving it from here to there. Anyway, I rant on. You are handling the furnace. That's the last one you're going to do. So I set bricks to max out at 100. They're going to go to 100. They're going to quit. So always have 100 in stock. And these guys, the ore, that's these three. When we have ore, they are set for forever. Alloy from ore, alloy from ore. So that they will always be... Uh, if there's any ore available, we want to turn it into something we can actually use. Moving wooden barrels, good. Simon's taking care of that. Paulette is handling the fermentation barrel. Meaning she's putting more... Hmm. What does that mean? Fermentation. She is making pickled vegetables. Okay. I don't want to make any more fat from bug, from bugs because I want that fat to go into making fuel. Or not fat, but um, for his foods. Bug meat. So we have enough for two more rounds of fuel. Okay. So do we run the generator? You know, oh, we're running the generator. Okay. You guys are on. You guys are on. The room is 30 degrees, so it's just below freezing, which means these don't really need to be on. But it's 10 in the morning, and we're, if we're already 28 at 10 in the morning, we're going to get above freezing. So below freezing means these guys are indefinite, and their, their rot timers turn off. 
that's kind of important. Um, I'm seeing 30 fuel sitting here and 10 fuel sitting there, both on the crafting benches. Um, with this running, this guy now works. Not connected to a power source. Oh. Yet our power... Well, these power poles are in. Will it connect if these power poles get done? How do you make extension cords? What do you do with an item that's sitting in, in the middle of a large structure when your power cords are around the perimeter? I can't shove one of these inside, can I? I mean, that's, that's not a thing, right? So how do you connect this bench? I don't see a yellow cord like these coming from it to anywhere. How do you deal with that? Carter, Edmund, you are transporting. Oh, I've wanted the skin bark over here because it's a crafting item to be crafted into leather to be brought back over there. Okay. Now that you've done that, I want you to build these. So construct these two and construct these two. Let's make those happen and let's see if that connects up our soldering bench. Because I would like for either Paulette or Kana to build our first circuit board. And Carter, you are deconstructing. Alright, after that it would be nice if you got to work on uh, finishing scavenging. Maybe you can find a circuit board faster than we can make one. We just need one in stock. Then that probably opens some things up for us. And I'm kind of really liking the idea here of a shelter with a a table and chairs and a set of meals or berries in place ready to go as well as a bed if we have a life-threatening injury out here rather than carrying somebody all the way up to their bed up there maybe we could tell them to go to a temporary bed for medical attention possible which means we need some medicines down there but we can't say just leave two medicines we can only build a shelf and it's going to have all of the medicines if we don't have that many. That's always a problem when it's an all or nothing situation. Uh, Carter is moving a lightning rod. Oh, yeah, these aren't real yet, are they? Okay. So Rita is fertilizing. Good. Uh, which means you're going for poo. Okay, I expanded. I moved the, the poles and redid some of these a bit and made them longer and and got more more uh, garden out of it. So you are moving that one. You're going to move this one. Then you're in decent shape. That is Carter. Let's have you then do this. Uh, salvage. And before we go any further, Edmund, how are you? You're in rough shape. You are constructing power poles. Then I want you to... Do we have a pumpkin pie? Where is that? Here? We do not. Paulette is handling fermentation barrel. Hmm. So she's making fuel? No. Antibiotics are first, then pickled vegetables on this one. We just built this one. Oh, okay. So let's add to that fuel. And... Until we have 100 gallons. Is that how we're dealing with fuel? Fuel is forever. Until we have 100 gallons, or 100 fuels, whatever that means, same thing. Until 100. So that will be in all of them. I can't do this one yet. Okay. So you are handling a furnace. So handling is before cooking. Is that going to overwhelm us or is it just over overwhelming us right now because we finally turned handling back on and they're catching up? That might be a thing. We'll let all this this piddly stuff happen and we'll see how that goes. But Edmund, okay, you've got enough going that this still has no, has no active task because we don't have enough resources because we need metal alloys. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Let's force this thing to happen. Kana, you are making pants. And what I decided to do with the tailor bench is to start using the end tails. Rather than make seven pairs of something and then seven shirts and then seven beanies and seven whatever, I decided just to have two in stock of everything until there's two shirts, coats, whatevers, boots, trousers, so that as someone starts to wear out something, they'll go and pick up one. That will go drop down to only one in stock. They'll go make another one. So we don't have to bog the whole system down trying to get seven of the first two things and never get to that that fifth thing, that fifth category. Spears are going to have to be done that way too. So while I'm thinking of it, let's make that happen. Spears, I already did, until two. Okay. So I think that's the best way to go with... What can I click on to turn that off to uh, deal with orders like that? But I want... Kana to break from that. Okay. I need alloy. There is three locked into each one of these. Double click. Cannot. Uh, shift click. Doesn't work. So one at a time. Cancel. 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 There's no alloy in anything else here. What is that? That's that's a wall, okay? So with that, we should have enough alloy available for Kana to pause. And now, still not enough resources. <clears throat> I've got 12 because I don't have any ore. That's silicon. No, we have lots of silicon. 400 until two times what am I not getting here I mean to do it for two times I can set that to until if we want in that case we want until probably at least five but there's an active order awaiting materials so are we happy now now we're happy okay and the other one was turn off all right, so you're gonna grab that before somebody sticks all the material into a into a, a an easy chair. All right, let's get that going. Carter, did you ever? You are just getting there. Now it's a race. Can you find one before Kana makes one? <laughs> now Edmund, I was working on you. You are finishing up the last power pole that I assigned you to, and then there it is. Let's get you to get ready to go on an expedition. So you need... Your clothes are still decent. Decent enough. I was looking to see if there's any... wonder if damage takes away the, the blunt deflection, for example. So we got nine blunt deflection right here. Um, Umayar, you have got better quality clothes as far as the wear and you've still got nine too this there needs to be a negative a detraction for having clothing that's ready to to fall apart and yet there isn't his blunt deflection is less he may not have the same clothes he has shoes he has shoes you've got spaceship pants so five blunt deflection you've got trousers only one deflection yeah so they're not rated the same. But there doesn't seem to be a negative. Now Doug's all the way out here on his own this time. Okay. That's, and what is the the lines? Oh, it just kind of goes around as the camera moves. Yeah, interesting. So, Edmund, that's where I was. Try that again. I hit my keyboard. Edmund, you are decent except for relaxation so let's get you in here to do a couple of tasks play some music and play some other music yeah too cued that should bring this up far enough and then a meal and then by then it's going to be late hmm is that a problem can i send him out through the night and bring, bring it back during daytime. 
I probably could. So after that, grab a meal. Um, a meat soup. And then let's set up an expedition. Now I'm curious. But we didn't really establish it for certain last time. If I were to set up that expedition now, and may as well be a shooting star. This has got a timer, so let's see what that was. Edmund and send. Does that cancel everything I just told him to do? Yes, it does. Darn it. Okay. So if I tell Edmund now to instead play music, that must have canceled the expedition. Okay. So you do need to get yourself ready to go first. Right there. So you're stuck waiting to queue up the expedition, just like you're stuck waiting to put clothes on people. Speaking of, who else needed a hat? We haven't hit a cold blast of any kind, so we've had pretty easy so far. It's been an easy winter. Um, clothing. Carter does. Carter is down there in the cold. Oh! He didn't just salvage scrap metal this time. He salvaged alloy. Oh, nice. That's, that's a much better find. Still not the electronics I was hoping for, but... Carter, you are in decent shape. Hang around down here and let's do this again. Salvage. And what is... That's two out of six so far. Okay. So, four more runs and I'll find out what it means to salvage a ship. So, Kana has gone to get the last of the supplies... Oh, the crafting supplies have not been brought up yet. Because I put transport or um, handle back on. So they're busy doing other things now and not really getting to those last shelves. Yeah. There was something on this one. Can I? I have to empty and deconstruct. Okay. So, yeah, this idea right here. I like it. Is this where we want it? Does that get moved over to a specific spot later? That's kind of what I'm weighing right here. Does, okay, is this ground better for farming? And what is the new farming? Oh, we've never planted beef berries. Really? I guess we didn't. And they would love to be right where this is. Oh, they'd love to be here. Oh, this whole area. Okay. Where else? They love to be down in here. So that is a pathway. Where is that pathway? Ah, we kind of encroached on our pathway here, didn't we? No, it's over here. That's a pathway. So this is available. Okay. Well, let's put in some beef berries. How big can I go? I can go all the way to there. Alright, good. Beef berries are there. I don't know if Rita can plant them ahead of time or not. So Carter's still salvaging. And so, yeah, I need to decide whether or not this little idea, if it stays in a temporary shelter like this, or if we come down here eventually and just build a little building. That's an idea. We could put, like, an outpost somewhere and another outpost somewhere else. I wonder if we could... I wonder if it's possible to create staging areas or, you know, if you've ever seen Planet Crafter, you'll build a, a little outpost and then from there venture further and put in a little outpost. I wonder if there's any advantage to that in this game to get out to get access to raw materials that are further away. Don't know. Hmm. We'll have to keep that in mind. I, I don't know how to min-max that to make it work. Reassign their bed and move food out there and try to stock it. And will you ever gain... Edmund is on an expedition. So it's, it kept it in queue. Okay, did he actually... He didn't get any rest, but he got everything else done. Okay. Then let's do it. With the flame... I've never noticed that before. We've only seen it during the daytime. Alright, so he's out of here. I'm waiting for the bug attack notice to, to fire off right now. <laughs> Alright, so Carter's about done with this round. He's still got the 21 alloy on the ground here. Let's see what he comes up with. So, and we've got more scrap metal. Okay. 
Um, Carter, once you bring the more valuable, and that will be thrown right back into our recliners or our easy chairs. Yeah, how much is ten each, right? Yeah. So Kana is assembling. Great. How is she doing otherwise, though? Ah, uh, she's a little rough. She's gonna break soon. In fact, can I get Paulette to finish? Paulette, what are you doing? Paulette. You are still handling furnaces. Do we get any meals? Some. But not many. Okay. Rita, you are cooking. No, you're eating. <laughs> so, Rita, when you're done, why don't you... Looks like our teas and coffees are are at their max when you're done why don't you make a veggie soup and then make a meat soup and eat cook and two more so I guess you're already queued to cook okay and then Kana why don't you pull out go get done what you need to do and Paulette when you're finished you're going to wait for Kana to reset and then you're going to finish crafting okay we'll get that done today anyway and the lights that's right I want to move to build a new light fixture and I ended up not ever clicking the copy and it didn't work <laughs> so you cannot put it over a shelf that's what I was wondering so do we go here or do we go here or do we have to put in two how much power does one actually take you that's got to be total consumption of 28 that is the room try that again there you are consumes consuming one consume nine over the last 24 hours okay so each of you consumes one okay and not adding any heat to the room with a torch is beneficial so I'd say let's go ahead and Make this look good in here. Put one of you in there and one of you in here. Don't know when that's going to get done. Though if I had an Edmund or a Carter here, I could say just put in one right now. Carter could. Carter's actually in decent shape. Let's say Carter... Oh, you're going to construct two. Well, we'll do it. He's bringing up the very supplies that are needed to build it. Which is three? I can't get it. There we are. Three. So, yeah, I'd say that's worth it. Now, you... Somebody found some ore. No, those are bricks. Oh, because I've got bricks in all the furnaces. Okay, and we're making how much each? 25 more? 74? Alright, so that's the end of the brick run. Okay. That means Paulette can get back to her normal cooking tomorrow. Minus bug fuel. Which we did use, right? We did. There's only 29 left. So two of these must be fuel. That one and that one. Great. Okay, so it's working. Uh, Simon's going to sleep. Let's make sure Doug can find his way back home. I think he does it... Well, I thought he did it at 20 hundred. This is still assigned to Dog. Yeah. Can he find a way back into the building? There is a door right there. And what was that? New resource electronics. All right. What does that do for us? First of all, various electronic components used in the construction of most electronic devices. That should have opened up a bunch of research. It gave us power cell assembly. Energy storage. That's what we need in order to get a battery. Fuel mixing. That's what I was looking for. But what turned that on? That wasn't there earlier. We didn't have any... any grain in order to make some oil down there. So it wasn't making oil that caused it. Oh, there's 10 oil. No, there's 10 fats in the oil and fat category. Oh, so that symbol is oil and fat, not just oil. And this seems to use oil and fat. So when we made that fat, nothing showed up. Maybe the 
showed up eventually. Okay, well, get in there. Um, so that's important. Otherwise, we want energy storage. Freezers? I'd much rather go directly to heat pump. That's not a thing yet. What do I need? I need a CPU core, which we are researching. Then we'll hopefully be able to make one. Okay. What else is coming up? <clears throat> a pacifier. It's... It probably wouldn't hurt just to have that available to us. Leather armor might be kind of nice, too. That's one day. This is 12 hours. Solar panels, though. I mean, solar panels. Yes. Okay, we got to do that. Then <clears throat> pacifier. Then leather armor. I think so. CPU, we're doing power cell assembly. That's going to be needed soon, too. An advanced research desk. But we need a CPU core, which is the CPU assembly, in order to make that one. Which probably gives us the heat pump. It probably does. Huh. Okay. Get that going. So we now have our first electronic. I think of circuit board, but I guess they're using it a little more general. Okay. Carter is... I can't work efficiently in this darkness. Okay, fair. But I can't afford to light the uh, light the property. So you're just kind of stuck there. So what happened down here? So all this has been torn down. We're still waiting for these to go away. Which isn't going to happen until all of these go away. And everyone's just kind of finishing up their day. Carter, I had you set up to make lights. Are you going to? Are you going to just uh, cancel it? Rita, I asked to make some meals, and she did. She got one more of each, or two more of each in there. I hear a lot of bugs and flies. Don't know what that... Just because there's food around? Maybe. Carter went to sleep, so he ignored me. Dog is coming through the door on his own. Okay, so he's going to bed. And Edmund is gone. There's an empty bed there. I could give somebody else the bed and give them their own luxurious room. Is there anybody who truly needs that kind of a bonus right at the moment? I mean, that was kind of a one-time shot here. 60, 59, 55, 33. Kana's really in rough shape. Kana, can you sleep in Edmund's bed? You can. No, you can't. Wait a minute. It said owned by Edmund, but it still made it an option. Okay. So you're going to get a plus 18 all night long, which I'm hoping will move your bar up here faster. Edmund, Edmund just sensed that you got into his bed, Kana. <laughs> all right, I found a deformed metal chunk where the meteorite fell. It was probably a piece of some spaceship. I'll try to salvage it for some scrap metal. Hmm. Okay. And that's not it. Okay. So... We're only going to get scrap metal out of that mission. That's unfortunate. Spacious bedroom plus 18. So you've got a plus 18 now. Which sends you up here. As your rest goes up, I would imagine that 32 will gradually increase through the night. Because... This bar is increasing through the night. That would be my guess. But it'll give her a little bit of a, of a extra bonus, I'm hoping. Okay. Through the night. Two in the morning. Creature comforts. Creature comforts, yeah. We've got different floorings we could be using through this place. And since we're not doing any more construction at the moment... In fact, we could spend some of this time taking trees down and building up our, our supplies so we can get this done. Um, but we could put flooring in. What does that really mean? Wood parquet. Are there any benefits, any pluses? It, uh, polished concrete applied over floors for styling and customization. Hmm... Otherwise, for styling and customization, 
seems to be there all the time. So it's really just a matter of what do you want it to look like and what kind of materials do you have to make it out of. Simon has gotten up to transport. You're... I was going to say you're building torches. You're, you're making bricks. Okay. Hmm. We're close to our hundred mark. Um... I guess I need a carter to get these torches made. Do we want a torch? I can't put a torch here. I wonder if, about lighting up the rest of this hallway. Really nothing to attach a torch to. Um, for temporary, there's this wall, but that wall... No, that wall's not going to go away. I could. It'd be nice to have lighting in here instead, though. These are supposed to be just backups when the lights don't work. That's true. In fact, I should be, I should get those things turned off. So let's copy and put another light fixture in. And over these workbenches would be a good idea. Workbench, workbench. So kind of right here. And then let's copy and put another one over this workbench, which will then broadcast into this room. So you can go... Oh, there it is up in, up in the air. Okay, so right over this, this wall is going to eventually go away and light up this area. Okay, so those two go in. The so we need more metal alloy. We are short now, which means we really need to get out there and mine it. Is that today? <clears throat> Edmund will be back soon. He will be tired, so he won't be helping. Um. Defense, You're, you've been trying to get my attention. Flamethrower. Okay. Uh, rigged flamethrower. Trap shoots a cone of fire when triggered. Um, physical. Is there an easier way to figure out physical? Probably isn't. So scavenge is physical. So that means we can check it this way. It's really just Carter and Edmund. Hmm. As far as mining speed, it really comes down to Carter. Right now, because Edmund's going to sleep all day. Sending them all the way out there to mine so we can get more alloy going. Okay. Is that the best use of Carter's time at the moment? And is there anything else to do? <clears throat> I really kind of want to get up in here and play with these guys again. Is that something I want to do in the winter? Could be. I don't know. I mean, while we're there, can we harvest these? No. It'd be wise to do some other harvesting and have more, maybe some hunting and haul more things back on that trip. So let's wait on that one. So that one's a no for now. So which one is closer? We've got a bunch of ore over here. Or we've got a bunch of ore over there. And we're kind of in between. <laughs> Have Carter come out here and mine this? I don't know. Maybe we'll just have him continue scavenging today. That makes sense. Where is his scavenge set? Carter, scavenge is a two right after construct. So you will construct what you can, then you go out and scavenge some more without having been told. And that does get the the electric poles set up and some leisure chairs going so yeah we'll leave you alone Kana you are really just set for tailing, tailoring until we have satisfied so what does that really mean we have enough boots now we in stock one so you're on your last shirt no trousers then two more shirts yeah, these are important. There's no getting around that. We have shirts that are just about ready to fall apart. So, in fact, I almost wish I had gotten you to do one shirt before that last pair of trousers. But yeah, you'll 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 make it happen. So seven o'clock. Everyone's relaxing. How is relaxation looking? Is one time in the morning doing it? Should we have them do it one time in the evening as well? They're going to skip that a few times. Rita insulted Umayar's cooking skills. Um, schedule. 
if we had them relax here, sometimes I would have them assigned to do something and they would miss it, but sometimes they would hit it. If they didn't need it, they would probably just sit there and idle, wouldn't they? I think they would. I don't think they'd move on to another task because it isn't marked as anything. Carter is idling, which happened last episode for some reason and didn't mean anything because he is deconstructing. So something caused him to short circuit for a moment. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. And then he went back and found something else to do. You were moving a dartboard. Boy, I wish you could just work on the very next project that's right next to you. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Tap on these. The materials are all there. Just bang on them and make them happen. Thank you. Anything else you can do down here? Because you're here. Um, well, I wish that wasn't straddled like that. Um, let's set this to empty and deconstruct. Maybe that will force their hand to get it moved more, or more quickly. Um, anything else you can do down here? These did get built and they did get turned off. Do we want more traps? How much longer are we going to be using this structure? Maybe that's what it comes down to. Because this would give Carter something to do. Get more traps built before next time. I thought we had it figured out until they all came from this direction last time. So, I keep seeing these little pathways. Which would be really neat if they were pathways that they traveled. Look at how interesting that is. You know, if they walked pathways through and wore them into the snow or into the dirt. But then you move and it all goes away. Um... Let's think about more traps. If we did that, there we go. And hold down the shift. And I guess go from there to there. No, not up on top. So we'll stop there. Now what is that doing to us? Uh, I didn't see the total numbers. So we'll take this out to here. To there and then from there to there so let go we don't have a negative so we do have enough scrap metal to pull that off Edmund brought more scrap metal I didn't see him arrive you are a veggie soup that's sitting down here outside and frozen <laughs> so somehow Edmund brought an extra meal and didn't use it interesting you are transporting scrap... Oh, out there. Sedman, you don't need to go straight to sleep. Your rest is fine. So you must somehow... Hmm. You must somehow rest on your trip. Okay. Okay. I'm just wondering. It's still only 11 in the morning. Do I send you out to get some ore? Carter, Simon, is filling up the balloon again. Do I send you out on another expedition? Oh, that's an interesting idea. Um, no, 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 no. Simon, drop the meal. Hey, just, just stay there. Yeah. Wait for Evan to drop off all this metal. If we could get him to eat the meal then we could put him in the balloon and go. Interesting. So you are transporting. Good. I want you to eat. Uh, Edmund. Eat. Simon, you're free. You are transporting wood. Oh, these that are sitting right here, okay. And so Edmund is going to eat. So I can set this up then and then re reset him. Right? Edmund. Yep, yeah, if he got his food up, he would be in great shape. Your happiness is low, but everything else is going to be up there. I think that would gradually come up. I think you're fine. So, expedition. Let's go find out what that very first expedition was. That one. Yeah. So, these two are waiting. That one would be interesting to go back to. Remains of a luxury cruise ship. So I think luxury is the key word here. It could be some high-end items there. 
Um, with high physical skills will improve the scavenge results. You are scavenge. Um, oh, remaining visits three. Five. Oh, so you can go back to these over and over again. An old crash site with large debris. Doesn't mention the scary monsters, uh, bugs around at this time. Hmm. And that's considered a luxury cruise ship, huh? Huh. Okay. Um, anyway, let's do this one. And said Edmund, um, fly the balloon high. New expedition sites may be unlocked as a result. So you're not necessarily bringing anything back, just unlocking other sites. So this may not necessarily be a physical thing. What if we sent Rita out and just see what happens? Curious about that. Rita, how... You're fine. You're in great shape. What are you doing right now? You're training. You can do that later. Rita, let's send you out. Let's see what you can pull off. Yeah, you got that perk that lets you um, research something, a chance of researching, um, observing something. I don't know if there's anything left to observe. Actually, there is. There's both of our trees and bushes are not observed yet, so you could get a freebie out of that and unlock a site. Uh. Escape. That's what I need. Okay. So Edmund is now transporting... No, probably transporting to a table to eat it. Okay. All right, then, Rita. It's your uh, it's your trip. Now, you're taking our best weapon with us. Weapons. Hmm. Let's see. Research. Crafting 7. Great for Kana. To get a hold of our... Of these guys we need cpu cores and power cells uh so how about the railgun sniper is that a power cell also it is okay so we do need to get down that pathway as fast as we can all right so that advanced research desk is probably going to take the place of this guy one of these days and maybe we'll move this guy into the bedroom of somebody who can also research simon's bedroom or something like that that's possible, or, or Edmund or Connor, they can write a short story. Uh, in fact, I'd love to have Connor do that right now. In fact, Edmund could do that. And he didn't go on his trip like I wanted. Edmund, why aren't you eating that? Because you don't... Well, I could still have you eat it. Hmm. I did tell you to eat. Why did you... Oh, it was in queue or something, wasn't it? Let's draft undraft, and let's... Eat in queue. Let's eat like now. Will you go to a table? You still have to go put it in here in order to take it to there. That's frustrating. <laughs> I can't eat it unless it comes out of a refrigerator. I just can't do it. Paulette is done with all of her handling and she is cooking again. Good. Rita, did you. You're out of here. You're... Oh, there you go, right there. And you are gone. Okay. Carter is constructing traps. So, Carter... Hmm. It'd be great to have those traps, too. We don't know when the next bug attack is, is going to happen, but... Come on over here and do this. Let's... Mine. Let's do that. Edmund, you are ready to break down. Crushingly unhappy. Though your stats are actually pretty good. Will you just eat the meal, please? How many times do I have to click that? That's That drives me nuts. Eat it and get your bars up. Insufficient fuel 20, so we have run the course on our fuel. We have. And these are going to be another couple of days before they're done. So let's get... And fuel is... Here, we're set to make fuel until, on this one, until 100. So it's just a matter of getting somebody in there to get to crafting. Which would probably be Kana if she didn't have a 1 on sewing at the moment. Hmm. Carter ran all the way up here to pet the dog. 
please go mine all that, that uh, ore over there. Okay, I just got to go run this way to pet the dog first. <sighs> oh, now I have to wait and say cancel all of your... Oh, you already canceled all of your orders. Because I don't want you to walk out there now and go do the, the mining. Because now you're not halfway there. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. These survivors have a will of their own. What is with that? Your unhappiness is just... Yeah. Um, Edmund is transporting instead of constructing. What are your tasks set? And how are you different from Carter? Edmund is right down in here. So, 232... Two. Two. Mining is set for a two. So scavenge. So you are transporting, which I guess is you have a one still on deliver. Okay. Simon. Yeah, let's do that. Why don't you rethink your life? What is the next most important construction? It is a trap. Yeah. So, you go down and do the traps that Carter didn't do, and hopefully none of you do the ore. And we'll just do it some other time. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Alright, so Expedition Discovery Juno. Oh! So she can do more than just plants. Though she is a xenobotanist, not a xenobiologist. Okay, that surprised me. The long legged horned insect is a highly aggressive species which I have named Juno. The fighting behavior that we've observed combined with my post-mortem impressions, so we're assuming she found a dead one, suggests that it is an alpha hunter ooh, who uses its short front limbs to slash and tear at its prey. It's exclusively carnivorous, a fast runner, and very resilient. Surely a threat be taken seriously. We can tame it if we want to. Oh, that sounds a little scary. Okay, and we completed a mission. I detected one of the ship's data storage devices. Hmm. These small modules contain bits of the ship's memory, flight logs, crew profiles, personal emails, and whatsoever. Uh, go there immediately. And what do we get? A data core. Ooh, that sounds good. The data core. A large quartz-like column with a broken terminal was emitting dying dim light. I quickly figured out that this was part of the ship's library and accessed the emergency survival encyclopedias. I have already collected some notes when the data core went dark for good. This will benefit us. Unlocks breakthrough for research. Okay. What does breakthrough mean? Sleep training. There are a number of well-known practices to shorten one's sleep cycle. They must be adapted to alien environments, though. Okay. So, what were we doing before that? Because I want to... I guess I can do that right here. Sleep training. So, it takes five days to research it. So... Hmm... I'm going to guess that cuts our sleep almost in half so that it opens this guy up big time. We can get even more done. CPU assembly. So sleep training sounds like something you want to do as soon as you possibly can to get the most benefit out of it. Mm. Nowadays, crafting microprocessors from silicon refined metal alloys is a basic survival skill. We just need to remember the proper blueprint. Oh, we've done that. Okay. All right. Well, we now have CPU assembly, which means we can build a CPU on here. Craft. CPU core. Give me until one. Just to... Uh, until two. That's probably... What does that take? Five alloy and 25 silicone. Oh, okay. We can kind of do that once we get more alloy. Once we get the ore. Hmm. I'm hearing a lot of thump thumps. 
Somebody's building something. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, traps are being built. Edmund and Carter are both down there building traps. Okay. So Khan is tailing a shirt. Ah, once the shirt is done, we no longer have any deficits. I think not. A coat would be nice to get in stock, but... Seems like we had a coat in stock? We have shoes in stock. Okay, I guess we don't have any kind of a coat in stock. Anybody about to lose a coat? Ah, uh, no. No, our coats are... Oh. Um, Simon doesn't even have one. Okay. So, yeah, a coat could be beneficial here soon. But... I'm just wondering if I can get Kana to move early on it, but if I order her to do it, she'll spend the entire night. So I think I better just leave her alone. Okay. Anyway, Rita is back. Handling the furnace. Didn't come back with any kind of supplies, just herself. And we are now low on fuel, so that was the last trip. Okay. But we opened up sleep training. Okay. Thump, thump, thump. What was that? That wasn't traps. I don't know. But we are building chairs. Now, if I recall, these chairs can be assigned to somebody if we want to. Does it happen automatically? So if I don't assign, can anybody sit there? I'm curious to see who claims that Carter. <laughs> So it's still marked as shared. Okay. Doesn't like the cave dweller, but... What are you thinking about that chair, huh? 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 Bonded with dog, played with animal, slept in a comfy bed, sat down and relaxed. Plus nine. Many fun things to do. Enough food variety. He just got up. Research fuel mixing. Okay, good. Um... Relaxed in an armchair, plus 18. Oh, so much just opened up to us there. Uh, fuel mixing is done. So, that is here. Fuel without poop, right? Fuel without poop. <laughs> Until we have 100. Alright, whatever that means. So we need more bug meat in order to get more fats. We need a lot more grain in order to get more oils. So that really doesn't mean anything at the moment. Okay. We're getting more chairs online and available. Edmund is now salvaging. Edmund, how are you doing long term? So low mood. That's Yeah, don't go off and do that, please. Um, you could get tomorrow morning's breakfast eaten right now. Why don't you eat a meat soup? instead get that done Edmund going to eat there you go no point walking all the way down there like Carter just did and you're going to a different one to do it you work on this one if you're going to 2200 if I reset you what will you do automatically you still want to go all the way over there okay you are two of six you are three of six. I want you to do this one. Carter, I want you to do this one. Thank you. Edmund, you're eating. Kana's sleeping. Umair is working on research, which is energy storage and needs to soon be. What? Shrieking noises. Uh. I kind of think we want to do the sleep training. Five days is a huge commitment. Umair is pretty fast. Intellect of six. But we will get the most benefit out of it doing it thoroughly as we can. We're going to get two sources of power out of this. Which eliminates our dependency on fuel for, for power. Is there anything else that's truly, truly needed? Power cells moving us one step closer toward getting us the railgun sniper. 
and armor. We're doing okay without the armor right now. So let's say move into power cells and then move into sleep training. And that pretty much cleans up our uh, research for quite a long time. Several episodes. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's... What did I just miss? There was something. Shrieking noises. Recently on quiet nights, the wind carries over weird shrieking noises. As unsettling as they are, their source may be even more unpleasant. It unlocks an expedition. <laughs> Who wants to volunteer for this expedition? Oh, man. Um, yeah, creepy. What does that look like? Shrieking noises. Weird shrieking noises have been heard from this direction. Hmm. Okay, on that note. <laughs> Kana got the bedroom. Oh, Edmund is not... Well, so is this bed reassigned to her? It's now Kana's bed. And that one is now shared. Oh. Kana, how you doing now? You are 63 compared to Edmund who needs the bed now. He really does. So, Kana, come on over here and sleep in this one. And as soon as that triggers, we're going to let Edmund go back to his own bed again. So, I'll reassign you to Edmund. And you are Kana. That was a one-time thing. I didn't know that it would repeat by itself. So, with that, Carter is salvaging. Carter, you should be heading to bed soon. 59%. Well, I can hang around another hour, maybe. See what you can come up with. So, fuel mixing. Uh, reaction is simple enough to be done. Workbench. Vegetable oil or animal fats. Alright. CPU assembly. We read that. Sleep training. We read that. Starving animal. We did not get to that. I need somebody to quickly make up some slop. Uh... Umayar, you can or cannot I think about that. Do you have a problem with crafting? You're not very good at it, but this doesn't seem like a very complicated thing. Can you craft some slop for me? Rita, crafting is a one. I could wake up Kana. She got a great night's sleep last night. Why don't you do that instead? Craft slop and... Umar is going to sleep. Okay. So you could probably wipe this out really quick. And hopefully you'll deliver it right to the food. Uh, what do we call this? Feeder. But if not, that's fine. It'll, it'll happen. So dog, you... Here, there you are. Dog, 49 of 100 fattening, but no real sense of hunger. Wish there was more information on the animals. You're still 80% happy. Doesn't tell me why. Training experience. Bonding chance. 20%. Maybe the happier you are, the more, the better the chance of bonding. I don't know. But you're done that fast. Okay. And... I would say you could just leave it right there. Draft, undraft, and go to bed. Rita, when you wake up tomorrow, you will bring food as soon as you wake up. So with that, are we all in bed? Carter, you need to go to bed. Everybody else is there. Okay, so we got the power grid looking better. Got our lightning rods out there. Lightning rods over here are you and you. So that covers a pretty good spread. And I space this away from the building a little bit. And yeah, that looks so much more organized than before. 
So, I think that's all we can pull off this episode. I think we're done. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.